guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about ear stretching, all the mistakes that I have made personally and other people make, and all of the things that you should be doing when you stretch your ears properly. For those of you who have been following my channel for a long time, you would know that I did take out my uh, plugs so I could let my ears shrink to a reasonable size because I got signed with the modeling agency. Well, they didn't really shrink, so I'm back up to my old size. So I just, I went, I think they shrunk one size down to half inch. So I figured they're not really going to shrink very much, so I might as well just wear the plugs that I have a huge collection in. So I am back at 9 16 so for those of you who missed my gauged ears. There you go. Before I do get into the video, please do hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family and hit the little notification bell right next to subscribe if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. And thumbs up the video if this helps you out at all and leave any comments if you have any tips and tricks for other people that maybe I didn't go over in the video. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. I'll also have my Instagram and my Twitter linked down below so go check me out on there. So for those of you who don't know anything about stretching ears, stretching your ears is a gradual process and it goes from regular ear piercing size until whatever size that you want to stop at. For me, I feel like anything past 9 16 is going to be too big for my ears, so I stopped at this size because I do have pretty small ears. So this is the size that I'm at right now and this is what they look like without anything in them. So it's a pretty good size. I can fit most of my pinky through my ear, so it's not super big, but it's not super small. It's kind of just a medium size in my opinion. When I first started stretching my ears, I did it the way that most people do it, and it's using tapers. I will show you guys some tapers if you don't know what they look like. So this is what tapers look like. As you can see, it's smaller on one end and larger on the other end, and that is how you stretch your ears at the smaller sizes, I should say. So these are two completely different sizes, but I have two sizes here to show you just so you can get an idea for what they do. So each size you go to, you'll get a new set of tapers to use, and that's how I did my ears the first time I stretched my ears, and I used tapers. Uh, up until I think like a zero or a double zero and that's really not super healthy to do and I'll explain why. Fine to use tapers for the smaller sizes I would say up until like a four or a two gauge but if you use them after that you have a much higher risk of blowing your ears out which if you don't know what that is it's creating little micro tears or tears on your ears on the inside and it's just pretty much really really unhealthy your ears swell up a lot they have to heal a lot longer just because you irritated them and went too fast to the next size so I would say tapers are good for people who are starting at smaller sizes so if you're at a regular ear piercing size this is totally fine to use I think in my opinion at least <laughs> for the smaller sizes because it's a lot less of a jump at the smaller sizes so as you're putting the taper in you're really not stretching your ear too much so I would say maybe use tapers up until about this size which this is a four and then maybe maybe even a two just depending on how easily your personal ears stretch but past that I wouldn't really risk blowout uh, on your ears just be super careful and always 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 a gradual process don't force anything because if you force it it's probably going to tear and then you're gonna have to take them out and let them heal or ugh, it's just such a big pain and it's painful so don't do that. <laughs> the method you should be using once you start getting to the medium to large sizes is taping and if you haven't heard of what taping is it's pretty much taking the size you have in currently rolling a piece of tape around that size maybe you know one two three layers of that tape depending on how easily your ears stretch and then just gradually adding more tape over the course of a few you know weeks to days depending everyone's different however much your ears will let you stretch at that time use tape to go up and up and up and up until you get to the next size if that makes sense and you don't want to use just any tape you want to use PTFE tape which is a non-adhesive waterproof tape and so it's okay to use on your skin and you just wrap it around the plug the size you're at now and gradually go up to the next size. So that's how people usually get to bigger sizes gradually and gently and you won't even notice that 
you're at a slightly larger size since you're doing it so gradually. There are a few tips I have that I really haven't seen a lot of people go over, other YouTubers or other influencers. I just haven't seen them mention these, so I really wanted to make this video so you guys could have these tips if you are stretching your ears right now. First tip I have is to always stretch your ears after a hot shower, and the reason for this is your tissue on your ears is going to be super pliable and stretchy after a hot shower. And this is because of the moisture and the heat. It really gets that blood flowing and it makes all your skin soft and like supple. So it's a lot easier to stretch compared to like if you had cold ear lobes. So always, always, always stretch after a hot shower. I think it was like a week ago when I went back to this size. My ears were not letting me put this size in. And then I took a hot shower and they went right in. So that's just just goes to show you that a hot shower makes a huge difference. And the other tip I have is to always use some type of gel or something to slide your new size in. Always, always, always <laughs> make sure that your ears are moisturized because if you're putting them in dry, it's just gonna kind of pull on the ear and tear, more, more likely to tear. So just you want something that is gonna allow the jewelry to slide in a lot easier. For this, I use a few different products. I wouldn't suggest lotion just because of all the chemicals in them and it's just not the best thing to use and it could get into, if you do tear your ears at all, it could get in those tears and irritate them. So I wouldn't suggest lotion. It's okay to use lotion on your earlobes when they're healed but not for stretching. So I would suggest some type of sterile gel. You can probably get this from a piercer. If I don't know if they hand it out at most piercing shops but um, my piercing shop does so it's just a sterile gel that you can use to stretch your ears or I have seen other people use aquifer and this is what I use to heal my tattoos and you can also use it on your ears. Here's just to moisturize it as you're going to the next size. So those two things are super helpful for stretching in a hot shower. It's always going to make a huge difference. And you also want to make sure that when you are stretching your ears, you're nice and calm. You're in an undistracted environment. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like whenever I'm putting jewelry in or I'm stretching my ears, I just really need to focus. So just make sure you're in like a nice, calm environment, maybe by yourself or with somebody you're comfortable with. Also, wear gloves, please, while you stretch your ears. You are, even though you're not doing a new piercing, it's just more sterile to wear gloves. I mean, I didn't do that when I stretched my ears, but I always made sure I washed my hands if I didn't have gloves. So yeah, one of the two preferred gloves, but if you don't have gloves, then wash your hands. Another tip I don't really see people mention is wearing a pair of heavy plugs. So if you're at a size and you want to go to the next size, you need to wear a pair of plugs at the size that you're already at that are heavy and that's going to help your ears sag and stretch naturally a lot more. So a pair of like heavy metal plugs is going to do this. That's exactly what I did with my last size when I was at half inch. I wore a, por a pair of solid stainless steel plugs and it just like weighed my ears down and made it so much easier to get my next size in. So a pair of heavy plugs will do you wonders along with a hot shower and um, some type of gel to help the jewelry go in. <laughs> I think I covered everything in this video. If I didn't, please leave me a comment if you have any other tips that maybe you know about that I don't. Uh, I hope this helped you if you are stretching your ears right now. Please leave me a comment telling me if it did help you. Hit that thumbs up button if this helped you out at all, if any of these tips were new maybe. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this really quick tips and tricks of ear stretching video. I have done stretching twice now, so I think I kind of have it down. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the little bell next to it if you want to get notified when I post new videos. I will also have my Instagram and my Twitter linked in the description box down below, so go check me out on those social medias if you want to follow me on my day-to-day -day basis. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys!